And I want to touch upon the departure of Martin Frizzell. Now, for our overseas viewers, you may not know who Martin Frizzell is. Martin Frizzell was the big head honcho at This Morning for the last decade. Um, and I worked with Martin Frizzell. Martin Frizzell is, or rather was, well, he'll be leaving next year. He's, he's resigned, but he's not left his post until next year, spring, I believe. Martin Frizzell is the husband of uh, broadcaster Fiona Phillips. And Martin Frizzell issued a letter um, to to staff saying, I'm leaving, I need to take care of my wife. Um, his wife has Alzheimer's, I believe. Let me just find his statement. Um, he said, let me see if I can find it. Um, no, I can't find it. I'm sure I will find it. But let me just tell you my thoughts on Martin Frizzell and who he is and why I don't actually necessarily believe he's leaving to take care of his wife. Um, as one very savvy journalist pointed out to me is, did he quit or was he pushed? You've got to bear in mind that Martin Frizzell, Frizzell was there throughout the whole time that the situation was happening with um main presenter, Philip Schofield, and a young man, a young man that many people believe were, was groomed, who ended up being a runner on this morning. And um, Philip Schofield ended up having something of a relationship with him. And it, some of it's very dark and we don't know the full details. And there was an inquiry and I worked at this morning for 10 years and people at this morning told me very clearly that the inquiry was a whitewash. They didn't talk to certain people about it. And the truth has yet to emerge about what happened regarding the young man and Philip Schofield. But the thing is, is that Martin Frizzell and Philip Schofield, here they are, here's Martin Frizzell and Philip Schofield collecting one of many awards. They were as thick as thieves, like thick as thieves. And obviously the other part of the partnership was Holly Willoughby and Holly Willoughby, well, so first of all, um, just to go back a little bit, there was that whole stage coming out of Philip Schofield where he was like, I'm gay and they were on the sofa and then the there was Holly there doing her fake crying and then Eamon and Ruth, who were also the other presenters, joined them. And that was all stage managed. It was all stage managed because it was coming out about Philip Schofield having something of a relationship. And I use the word relationship lightly because I don't know when it started. Right. So I don't know if relationship is the accurate word to use here. But anyway, so the, the whole stage coming out and Philip Schofield actually later admitted that he knew on his wedding day he was gay and he's just one of those horrible people who's hidden that side of himself because he felt that he would progress more. That's just a reality. And then recently he had this whole thing where he was on a desert island and he was angry and he's angry because Martin Frizzell ended up, uh, I think, as far as Schofield is concerned, with betraying him, as did Holly Willoughby, because obviously when the whole truth of the matter came out, they distanced themselves from him. Schofield quit again. Did he really quit? Um, but now Frizzell is apparently quitting. But there's more to, excuse me, there's more to Frizzell and why I have issues with this man. And one is to do with Madeleine McCann. Martin Frizzell is undoubtedly, unquestionably, the man who was absolutely responsible for solidifying the abduction narrative in the minds of, our, of the British nation. And what happened, it's interesting because when I was doing the talk on Tuesday, Martin Frizzell's name came up. And then on Wednesday, I, this has nothing to do with the talk, obviously. He didn't know about the talk. This is obviously all, but it's just the timing of it, the synchronicity of it. <clears throat> on Wednesday, his um his resignation was announced. It was really interesting. But the reason that I have issues with him to do with Madeleine McCann was Madeleine McCann obviously was reported missing on the 3rd of May 2007. And on the 4th of May 2007, Martin Frizzell was running GMTV, which is where he met his uh his wife, Fiona Phillips. And GMTV was the uh, pre-runner to uh, Good Morning Britain on ITV. And on GMTV, they allowed a friend of the McCanns to come on without any challenge and say, a little girl went missing last night in Portugal. And that was it. Boom. Boom. The abduction narrative was set. And Frizzell followed that through by making a documentary, again, solidifying the official abduction narrative. And Martin Frizzell and I have crossed swords many, many times. When he came to this morning, I was working at this morning before him. I was a talking head, one of their lead talking heads. And when he came to this morning, it was a different atmosphere. I preferred the editor before him. But I adjusted to Frizzell and I suppose he adjusted to me. And I managed to last on the show as a talking head until 2019. So, you know, like six, seven years of his reign. And, uh, but 
that was when he finally lost patience with me for pushing the envelope. And that was over an M&S um, pride sandwich. And I kind of looked at this rainbow sandwich in front of me and I thought, I can't do this anymore. And I ended up talking about the issues to do with transgenderism and told people to Google cotton ceiling, which went to the top of the Google charts, but he absolutely freaked out. I mean, I was reported to ITV. I was reported to Ofcom. Um, Owen Jones wrote about me in The Guardian. Uh, India Willoughby, um, who I think called me madder than a box of frogs, which is hilarious coming from Willoughby hilarious. Um, but I was really attacked for doing that. But I also had huge support. But that was under Martin Frizzell's watch. And he was absolutely furious that I went off script. So Martin Frizzell was more of a dictator, really. It's like he oversaw everything at this morning and obviously is still doing until he finally uh, hands over next spring. But the, the fact is, is that this morning is a toxic culture. And may I be absolutely clear here, and that is I did not know about Philip Schofield and that young man, because if I did, you can be absolutely sure that I would have whistleblown. I did know that young man. He brought me coffee on several occasions when I was there. And I just assumed that he was like some college grad who'd come in as a runner. But what was interesting was people were saying right there and then he's got access all over the place and what was really curious was this young man was also going to award ceremonies and going on stage with this morning that doesn't happen for runners that doesn't happen for runners and Martin Frizzell was responsible for what was going on at this morning then and it's an absolute toxic culture it has not survived what has happened it's limping on now it's dying they'll almost certainly fold it and it will kind of re-emerge as something else. But I think that Martin Frizzell was always so much more than a TV boss. Always so much more. Official Channel Response said it is the 24-7 nature of the role, which isn't conducive to Fiona's illness. And next year, he, Martin, thinks that he's going to have to be around so much more for her. His family commitments are about to change and he needs a job that can blend into that rather than a job which takes over his entire life. And uh, just going, I have found the email that he sent to staff. He just said, hello, friends. Hopefully you've not heard on the grapevine and maybe you weren't even in planning today. So this could be a surprise for you, but I'm leaving. This will be my last Christmas at a program that I've loved working on. And the best bit was working with you. Sure it was, mate. Sure it was. Uh, there will be much more to come out about Martin Frizzell. Of that, I am absolutely certain without a shadow of a doubt.